All right. If you watched my last ARCA video, you'd probably be surprised to see this show up again. But um, I did really bad, and I was kind of pouty about it. But that's just me. I get over it. Got some words of encouragement from Colton, some advice. Watched his video, saw some advice given to him from even faster guys in his comments. Now I'm not going to be as good as either one of them, but I think I can do better. What I did do just before this is I ran a 30 lap run all by myself, admittedly, but I never ran a lap slower than my average lap time in the last race. Now I know uh, cars on the track will uh, obviously affect all that racing guys. It's not apples to orange. It's not apples to apples. It's more like apples to oranges, but I still feel like I got a little better grasp of driving it. This is probably a single split. Only 20. Yeah, there's only 22 signups. So I haven't been in one of these in a while. That'll change how this race probably goes too. I am actually the number three. That's that's not good. That means probably going to donate some more I rating, but it is what it is. Now, what I'm not good at is a Q lap. I haven't practiced any Q laps. Very much, anyway. I would like to be faster than... If I'm the number three, I would like to not get stuck behind a bunch of really slow cars. This could be more of a crash fest. I don't know if I have enough time to practice a Q lap here. Way harder than I uh, pushed it in my 30 uh, minute or 30 lap run. I would have never gotten back to line, but obviously that was too much. Too much of something. I was waiting for it to kick me out. I guess I could exit out. Just in case someone was coming up, but nobody was. I don't know. I'm going to try. 37.7 is like a good Q lap for me, but that's really slow. It's clear. Push. All right, Justin. We've got two laps to get the job done, mate. Now, as I had suspected myself just by how bad I was, I'm pretty sure I was overdriving every corner, killing my tires. I put all time optimal up to give me something to look at in that first lap. Can't get in the gas because I'm so loose there. All time optimal is a 37.4. I'm overdriving. Now, I'm not going to drive it like this in the race. I'm just trying to get everything out of it for Q. I didn't practice Q laps, so this is going to be like a 37.8. Maybe I can get better. I've dropped all the way to 7th, just so you know.
According to the all-time optimal, this one's gonna be a little better. It only put me up one spot. The seventh currently. Oh, I'm still in the car. Control Shift L. I'm moving a uh, race labs that's on my uh, right monitor. That's where I see my standings. It's a little off. I'm like, oh, I'm up there pretty good. I don't know. So the five car, so that's a blistering lap. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty low in here. We'll see. We'll see. Got to run my own race. I don't want to get into too many fights if I can help it. All right. We'll see you at grid up. Okay, P7 held. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Make sure everything is correct. Now, the thing with this is, is I got to make sure I don't put myself in a position to get run over. If you watched my first video, there was an incident on lap one where I got spun, and I pretty much took the blame for it. And even after he took the blame for it at the end of the race, I still was thinking my fault. It wasn't until I was trying to get the thumbnail picture and I used that incident. And I was like slow-mo forward back trying to get the exact point of impact. And while I was doing that, it was like, it became super obvious to me that it was pretty much 100%. The guy behind me's fault. Um, I may have been going slower than he expected, but I mean, that's part of racing. But that's part of it also. Was I going super slow? Can I avoid that happening? I don't know. The brake bias all the way down. I will be shifting in three and four every time. I did it like three times last race. Um, one thing I learned from a comment from a real fast guy to sh downshift really late into the turn. You don't want to get any uh, wheel slide going by shifting too early. You don't get any extra for this, race. this so will definitely be my last attempt at this. But I am no longer opposed to trying to make Nick's race on Sunday. But I'm probably going to have to go sit and practice Q laps. This race will serve as my race pace practice. Because I don't think a 37.7, and I don't know what his track conditions are going to be like, but I don't think a 37.7 is good enough. Alrighty. This is a pretty low strength of field, 1.4. This is what I used to race in all the time when I was a 1.4 and under, so... With the caveat of this is a single split, so there's a few... 40, there's a 4100 guy as the number one car. So ideally we don't want any of the people who really struggle to get ahead of us somehow. Got 1300s and 1200s behind this, so I gotta try to hopefully We'll see. Okay, Justin, get ready. Go, go, go. You can go ahead and pass me number. Number who? Hold your line. Clear high. Oh, 
You gotta watch out for stuff like that. That guy's gonna burn up his tires doing that, but... so nervous. Normally I'm not this nervous anymore for these races. Not doing a very good job right now, but the whole 30 lap run I did, I never ever had a wiggle like that. But it's like, once you start racing, everything changes, you know? I just gotta hope I'm saving my tires decently enough to keep it going. I was not expecting I gotta go around me on the outside. This isn't going as well as I thought it would. P6, that was a 37.6. It's your best lap in this session. Three wide up there? Let's see if that goes crappy for everyone involved. Okay, Justin, the next car is Chapman. Just gotta be full on concentration. Ah, terrible, terrible corner. I'm just judging that by how quickly that guy gained on me. Charlie Gray is not going away, and I don't appreciate it. Nah, nothing against him. He's... What in the world? Sounds like a war going on outside. I am way too hard into this corner. I feel like I'm not doing as good as I did on my 30-lap run. But you just got a lot more to worry about when you're than when you're just out there by yourself. Hey, lead car is coming up on me. Uh, I'll say hi. You guys go well, okay? 
Oh my god. Forget to shift. Sixth place. Hello, boys. That lap time was 38.0. Car outside. You're clear outside. You're clear. outside. clear. That was scary. He was going high for everyone else, so I thought he was going for me, but nope. Go ahead and pass me. I definitely feel like I'm doing worse than I did on my test run. Like, I was never that high up in the corner. I'm going to stay on the uh, outside here, boys. You can just take the inside. Appreciate it. Your last lap time was at 38.1. Yeah, I have a very, I have a very Just wonderful relationship with the wall because this is my first uh, ARCA race, so. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, me and the wall are working things out. On that, on that turn right, like, as you, if you're going into the pit roads right after the turn, what, how fast do you guys take that? Because I can't seem to not just go up to the wall. It's all about throttle control and then being real sensitive on the steering wheel. Okay. I don't know an exact mile an hour. I'm not exactly looking down there when I drive in. I mean, you're just breaking before you come into it and letting off before you turn, right? Are you talking about the really tight corner? Yeah, yeah. I think he's just going into it too fast. Yeah, it's kind of throwing you off because the track's a little oblong. But yeah, just get on the brakes a little bit and then baby the gas because it's real tight and the car likes to jump loose. I'm doing better, but the competition, it's harder to judge. All right, Justin, you're halfway home. I feel like I threw away my... Threw away my strategy the second this race started and started overdriving it again. I mean, we got a long ways to go. I have a feeling I'm going to start getting caught. I don't think I saved enough tires here. Also. I'll let you buy a little bit. Appreciate it. I'll stay high. I'm gonna stay high. You guys uh, coming up behind me can just take the inside. The gap to Chapman ahead is increasing. It's now 3.5 seconds. Your last lap time was at 38.6. I'm gonna hang out with the wall some more. Black car behind me is came out of nowhere, so I'm in trouble there.
Yeah, 38.5 is my last lap. I was running way better laps at this point into my run last time. That lap time was 38.4. So it's one thing to do a 30 lap test run and it's another thing to try to do it while other cars are on the track trying to race you for position. Even though I haven't been involved in too many races for position. Uh, we're just gonna let him on by. We ain't gonna race him at all. That lap was at 38.4. You can take it out of this corner. Call out. Still there. Still there. Go inside. Inside to clear. Inside. Take care of them, please. Take care, man. Is anybody shifting up here in three and four? It seems like borderline. Eight might be using up a stuff. Great job, Here to go. All of a sudden, he seems to not have it together in front of me. Uh, I mean, he pulls away, so he's doing. Maybe I'm coming in too hot. I don't know. You're a fucking idiot, dog. That was a uh, 38.5. Oh, my car is damaged past me on the outside. Outside. Clear outside. Outside. Car outside. Still low. Clear outside. Outside if you want it. The lap time was at 38.8. I never ran a... Well... Can't count on when you're going around lap traffic, I guess. But I never ran a lap that slow in that 30 lap run I did. <laughs> Seen a lot more uh, stuff than we did in the first race, that's for sure. That was a 38.7.
Now someone was taking a break at the entry of the pit lane. Now I'm losing time to Troy Underwood behind me. Never seen the top five so close together here. The gap behind is now 0.8. Now the gap to Johnson ahead is now. Go ahead and pass me. Go on the inside. You can take the inside, Derek. Eating up those rears, I guess. Well, seventh place unless I royally muck it up. Or some people muck it up ahead, I mean, get some free spots. But. Oh, he's getting loose, but he kept it going. He's way too far ahead of me to take advantage of a little loose. You'd have to spin out. Oh, I almost forgot. Yo, what the fuck was that? That's getting reported. Well, Sorry, I didn't mean to crash you, but the car in front of you blocked. I uh, did not want to win the position react. that way, but I'm sorry. that was bad. He's well done, Mike. Good finish. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Great job. He blew through me. Really well. Took me out. Dude, I just went from P6 to what, fucking P13 now? Seriously drove from P18 all the way to P6. About two seconds off of fifth place of the line going into turn three and he cleaned me out. What the fuck are these lap cars doing? I'm only frustrated because I just worked my ass off to drive that far up the field to, to get completely killed by a lap car for nothing. There was no point. I didn't even run him dirty. Austin, I had no, no chance to get 
uh, to not crash you. You were looking for the slipstream, then the car in front of you was on the brake, then you went inside and there was I. I don't know, it looks like you forgot that you needed a break in that corner. You were in way faster than you needed to be. Dude, that's just frustrating, man. I don't care if it's ranked, unranked, anything else. I'm just trying to run for a position, and then that shit happens? Come on. Dude, that's, that's some rookie stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, this is a rookie race indeed. I'm safety class A. If you're class A, how do you make that mistake? Alright, uh, well, that's their issue. I just had front row seat to it, although I didn't quite see how I went down. I did get a position out of it, but like I said, not exactly how I wanted to get it. Um, I think I ran a better race. Obviously, there's room for improvement still. Um, yeah, all right. Let's watch incidents. Other than that one. Yeah, uh, there's no excuse for... Oh my god, that guy just got cleaned up. I understand the frustration. He, and you're like, yeah, he did a good race. I would be frustrated too. All right, what do we got here? Nothing? Blink. Okay. There was some, like I said, some of these people, it makes you feel a little better. Not that I want to be just better than this, but there's some people out there who really bad and I'm not that bad even my last race wasn't 16 here not like it's like he never even ran a practice lap you gotta get it slowed down he was asking how do you not go up to the wall you just gotta slow it down enough when I'm overdriving it I'm pushing it too hard and burning up the tires but I'm still making the corner roughly anyway I'm not trying to dog on these people it's just it just gives you perspective when you get in a slip lit with I hear cars coming. Everyone's gotta dodge the crazy wall pole. Wow. I'm not judging my position in the race as an improvement. I'm judging basically how long it took me to complete 30 laps. I'm going to look at my average lap time, compare it to the last race. Back it up to get into the pit. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't believe I had any contact in this race. Part of the reason I just... Sorry to run this, it's because I want to get another race done so I can get a video out. Um, I was going to try to do the IR-04 at Bathurst, but after two hours of practice, I am not ready to be on that track with other cars. Really fun just driving it around, but not ready to have other people have to worry about what I'm doing on it. I don't understand. I, I I get into the wall, but when you're when the trajectory of your line is obviously going to be the wall. Like this one's oh, he didn't even hit the wall. That one's not as bad, but some of the people you can just tell the wall is the end result if you don't do something different. Like slow it down more. I was like, what is going on here? Oh, we already knew what happened there, so we're not gonna reanalyze that. Well actually let's watch it from this camera view from the 18th point of view. Maybe I'm wrong. The TV cam isn't... I mean, he shouldn't be punting the guy no matter what. I Okay, I remember seeing that. And I'm like, oh yeah, the 8. But I'm going to need more than a minor screw up than that to get him. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's... Looks like the 8 didn't expect the 21 to be so slow there. So he comes down hard, but... I don't know how, how I lost pedal inputs. Didn't that used to be a thing you could see? Maybe it's the option that I somehow turned off. I mean, it's just panic. The 18 is a 1100i rating. It's the 18's fault, but I can see, you know, he's like, ah, oh, this car just suddenly came in front of me. He just kind of froze. I don't know what he did there, but. All right, so like I said, there was only one split. 1496 was the strength of field. Um, yeah, my lap time, my average lap time was four tenths faster than in the last race. So that adds up to, uh, I mean, simple math, half a second would be like 15 seconds farther behind. It's not quite that. Let's say 13. I can't do the math fast enough. That would put me in this race only two spots back, but in that split, it would have been well, let's say. And I understand that every race is different, you got other cars around you, things are different. You can't use it as an absolute, this is where I would have finished, but you can use it as kind of an idea of how things went. Now, it looks like this guy led the first 21 laps and he fell off pretty hard to fall back to. One spot ahead of me. I wasn't going to catch him, but. Because I remember when it said Nadu is now leading. Anyway, incidents. A lot of zero X's all the way down to 12th place. And you see quite a bit of random stuff. The eight, absolutely. Got screwed there. Ran a pretty good race, starting 18th, running 6th, and he was not falling off back to me. Anyway, thanks for watching.